What's up YouTube? Welcome to today's tutorial on painting materials in Blender. Now first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to, as always, open up Blender. And um, we're going to actually add a landscape this time because we can. And it's also a very good mesh to do this with. So I'm going to set this to 128, just do some default stuff really quick. And I'm going to choose, go down, where is it? and change multi-fractal fractal to ridged m fractal now this is just because there's a high ridge it'll be easier to guess where we're painting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have grass everywhere and then we're only gonna have rocks on the tops and where we paint it so that this is a really handy tool when you're creating landscapes and terrain to make it look a lot more believable when you have instead of just having all grass you paint in rocks and other stuff and it ends up looking pretty cool but you can do this by mixing materials so that's what we're gonna do now next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go into top view and we're gonna split this Hold on. I'm gonna sp if I can grab a little handle we're gonna split this and go to the UV image editor and then we're gonna add a new image I'm gonna add this as uh, 2048 by 2048 and I'm actually not going to set the background to total black. I'm actually going to go up a little bit and then hit OK. Uh, this will make a lot more sense later. But if you hit Tab, just hit uh, U and then Project from View and scale it up a little bit. Uh, you don't want it clipping, but that's good enough. Anyways, that'll just give us the image that we want. But now we got to start off with a little something. You can exit out this, or actually first change untitled to like, uh, I don't know, matte mask or something. Uh, and then you can go ahead and join that area back because we're never gonna use that again. But now what you can do is, unfortunately you have to do this every time, is go into Blender Render. Because uh, this works in cycles, you can use this in cycles, but you can only paint in Blender Render for some reason. I've only gotten it to work a few times in cycles render and but it's worked a few uh, and I have no idea why it did that but I'm gonna go into edit mode and flip the normals and then I'm going to go into texture and the reason it's all white is two reasons one we have to go back in the UV image or UV image editor although I just told you to close it out uh, select matte mask again and then one last thing we have to do, go back into object mode, it's shift A, lamp, just add a point, just something very default. Um, but the reason we did chose that gray material is because we can actually see it. If it was all black, you wouldn't be able to see anything. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, choose add, and then we are going to add a new texture. And I'll just do a cloud texture, that's what we want. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to start, oops, that doesn't look good, just start painting along the ridge. Um, I'm not a painting artist, I'm not, turn the strength down a lot too, I'm not good at painting things, so this is very, more on the technical side of it, not the artist side of it, that's why I chose something really easy to paint on. Uh, yeah, paint the ridge. Now, you're going to want this very bright, because the way I have it now is very dull, you're not going to want that. And if you want to erase something, go back to mix and set this to pure black and you can erase things. There, let's turn up the strength a little bit. <clears throat> now you can see because we're painting pure black, we're actually painting like more smudges, but that's okay. It'll only add more variance to it. And if it doesn't look good, right, we can always bring it back. So. Again, continue to paint. I'm probably going to speed through this. Yeah. 
that actually looks pretty cool. Um, maybe make like a little path. Okay, that looks really bad, but I'm gonna leave it because I don't feel like erasing it. Um, actually, hold on, maybe I can blend this in. There we go. Okay, so that doesn't look as bad, but I'm just gonna mainly be focusing on this side. But now we have our mask, and what we're going to do is we're gonna set up a quick mountain material. We're gonna go over to cycles, go to material, hit new, name this main or something like that, and then we're going to add a mix node, mix shader, and another diffuse because we can. And then one last thing, we're going to add a image texture in here and don't hit open as my muscle memory keeps telling me to do and choose matte mask. And now if you go into rendered, you will see nothing because now change this to green or some grassy color. Let's do darker and then I'm going to change this to more of a yellowy color because why not or maybe more of a brownish nah that's good anyway so now you can see where it's blending back and forth and if you want to <clears throat> even that's a little too faint you can add rgb curves and drag this up and it'll make it a little brighter but that looks really bad uh i'm not let's not lie to ourselves uh, may, this is mainly because we don't have good materials applied to it so what we're going to do is we're going to fix that, add an image texture, and open up, these will all be in the thing, um, hold on, I have to remember where I save these, okay, so one of them I remember is here, okay, there's my grass texture, and because it already has UV maps, you can just plug this in, although I'd recommend still adding a texture coordinate and mapping, because that's always a very good thing to add. Plug in UV, plug that into vector, and then change this to like, I think I did 25, 25, 25 last time I checked this. But yeah, you can see that's a very nice grass texture. And then what we're going to do is we are going to drag this down, do the same thing, duplicate image, and I have a rock texture right here that will also, wait, no, I don't want that one. That one's not seamless, so it won't look good. Uh, I have a dirt texture right here that's that will be included and I'll plug that into the thing now as you can see it is seamlessly mixing in between the two because we used some texture coordinates and painted it in now I actually think this looks really nice um, if you want to paint it in stronger you definitely can but I'm messing with the mapping a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's not that painted on. So I'm going to go back to Blender Render, back to Texture Paint, hit uh, Alt Z, which will give me the texture mode or just the normal solid mode. And I'm going to start painting in some more solid stuff because it was really splotchy. See, I'm going to mainly focus on right here because I remember this being really splotchy. Okay, so that's pure white. That's solid right now. So if we go back to Blender Render, or Cycles Render, and go to Rendered Viewport, you can see that that is now a solid rock, which is way too big. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this mapping node, put the UV into the vector, vector into the vector, and then change this more to like a 10. Yeah, um, 20. Yeah, that looks good. Now, what about mixing displacements? Um, I mean, we can't just, well, we can actually. Um, we need to mix these two into the displacement. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a mix RGB. We're going to add hue and saturation. 
you're going we're going to set the saturation to zero and then duplicate that and plug both of these into their own separate hue and saturation because we want the black and white versions of this and both of these into the mix like so and then hold on the curve into the factor and then that color into the displacement and you can see it looks very bad right now that is because we have to multiply it so or add in a math node now I know there's a way to do this with like a normal map node I want to say but I could never get that to work so if there's a better way to do this then do it that way Let's see 0.2 maybe 0.2 looks good actually looks really good um, but again if you want to you can paint it however you want if you just go back to blender render and then texture paint so say we wanted the peaks to be a lot more rocky which we do because peaks should be rocky let's, uh, let's fade it down a little more give it a little more of that displacement really rocky up here and you can see we have some rocks down here so let's uh let's paint out some make it look kind of cooler and that looks bad because that's being really skewed right now but once we put in the actual material because this is a mask it doesn't matter how blurry this looks as long as it looks all right in cycles anyways go to cycles again go to what did i okay <laughs> whoops didn't mean to hit that now as you can see we have our painted materials. Now again, I am not that good of an artist, so this is more on how to set up the shader, not how to actually make it look good. You can do that on your own because I'm going to guess you are a lot better than I am. Um, so yeah, uh, the music in this... Wow, I've been going on for 12 minutes. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. The music in this video was brought to you by SoundFusion who is a new dubstep DJ who is allowing me to use his music in any videos, which is awesome. So definitely check him out. His link's going to be in the description. And yeah, see you next week.